Hello, my name is Nandini Sharma, and I will be presenting the Kaza COVID team's research on COVID-19, rurality, and perceptions of risk and prevention among Latinx individuals in California and Arizona. The goal of this study was to assess the effects of COVID-19 on the Latinx community, with a focus on two questions. The first question was, what is the relationship be between rurality and perceptions of risk posed by COVID-19 among Latinx populations? And the second question was, what is the relationship between rurality and willingness to receive a COVID-19 vaccine among Latinx populations? We hypothesized that Latinx individuals living in rural areas across Arizona and California's Central Valley perceive less risk of being infected with COVID-19 and adopt fewer preventative measures as compared to Latinx individuals living in urban or suburban areas. We enrolled 600 participants across Arizona and Central California in a mixed method study that included open-ended interviews and an online survey. We fitted a series of logistic regression models to assess the relationship between morality and two outcome variables risk perception, and willingness to get vaccinated, and also controlled for social demographic variables to determine if there was a significant difference in risk perception or willingness to get vaccinated by rurality. The main findings of this research was that rural Latinx residents are more concerned about getting or transmitting COVID-19 as compared to suburban Latinx residents, but are less willing to get the vaccine as compared to urban and suburban Latinx residents. Our findings show rural residents are more concerned about getting or transmitting COVID-19 as compared to suburban residents. As seen in Table 1, we found that the suburban residency was significantly associated with being less concerned about getting or transmitting COVID-19 as compared to the rural residency. This is indicated by the odds ratios of 0.32 and 0.34, respectively. We also found that rural residents are less likely to get the COVID-19 vaccine as compared to urban and suburban residents. As seen in Table 2, suburban and urban residents were significantly more willing to get vaccinated as compared to rural residents, which is indicated by the odds ratios 0.52 and 0.41, respectively. This means that those living in suburban and urban areas are 48% and 59% less likely to not get the vaccine as compared to those living in rural areas. Our findings show a paradox where rural residents are more concerned about COVID-19 but are less willing to get vaccinated. Preliminary follow-up analyses are suggesting that there is an interplay between structure and agency. We are seeing that structural barriers such as time, employment, and transportation limit access to testing or vaccines. We're also seeing cultural determinants in which beliefs and attitudes about COVID-19 etiology, transmission, and pathology are in conflict with the prevailing clinical and public health explanations of the disease. However, a deeper understanding of this relationship between structure and agency is needed in order to get a more holistic understanding of the drivers of disparities affecting Latinx communities. Currently, we are using these findings to inform the development of the COVID Latino campaign. This is a campaign that in combines the arts with the health and medical sciences to create culturally tailored COVID-19 resources for Latinx communities. This includes a series of short animated explainer videos, artwork by renowned Latinx artists, and infographics that make needlessly complex COVID-19 information very accessible to Latinx populations. A few examples of this artwork and infographics can be seen on the slide. For more information or to see more examples of this artwork, you can visit the covidlatino.org website or follow us on our social media accounts. I just wanted to thank and acknowledge the hard work of my team seen here and the organizations and participants who helped make this research possible. Thank you for listening.